Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to our channel. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, welcome. Uh, for those of you guys that have been with our channel for a very long time, welcome again, my lovelies. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share our videos so that you can support the growth of the channel. Anyways, let's get into it. What we're going to be doing tonight is this is a very simplistic and easy spell. Um, I've been getting a lot of requests for couple spell work. Um, how to know if your relationship has been tainted or if you have outside interference. People, you know, unfortunately um, feel like they're entitled and can get involved in your relationship. So if you feel like your partner or you are currently bickering very often, uh, they have a tendency of not wanting to be home. Uh, as soon as they get home, it's like, you know, something is pushing them to go out the door. Uh, a lot of, you know, instability within the relationship, then this spell is for you. So this is a particular spell to know if we are actually, if our relationship is being affected, if we are being harmed, uh, if work is being done uh, against us in a partnership or relationship. So again, this is specifically for those that uh, live either in a marriage or you're living with your partner. Um, if you are not living with each other, but do happen to, uh, like your partner happens to have uh, certain days that they come over, that they spend the night, you can do this spell as well. Again, they have to physically be around you. So for those of you guys that are at a long distance, perhaps this is not a spell for you. Okay, so it's very simplistic. Like I said, it's very easy and very to the point. We're going to be using a clear, uh, transparent, um, it could be any type of plate, glass, doesn't matter. As long as it's transparent and you can see it or see through it. You're also going to need some water. It doesn't matter what kind of water, any type of water and some honey any type of honey it does not matter okay and that's pretty much all you're going to need now this is a nine day ritual so what i mean by nine days is once you have casted this uh and follow the instructions you're gonna leave it undisturbed for nine days okay all right so like i said this is for those of you guys that are in a committed relationship long-term commitment or married and you just feel like the energy has been extremely off. You guys can't seem to get along. Uh, the partner seems to want to literally run out of the, the home every time they come around or are at home. It's like there's an uneasiness, restlessness type of energy. Um, or if you just feel like they are being extremely, uh, you know, manipulated or trying to, like other people trying to infiltrate in within your relationship, this is how we find out if they are working us, if they are working our relationship, or if other people are influencing or trying to influence the relationship, okay? So like I said, all you're going to need is, well, that's pretty much, I already set the ingredients, honey, glass container, and water. That's all you need. So let's get into the spell work. So what you're going to do here is you're going to get... Uh, the glass container and you're going to fill it up we're gonna fill it up that much you don't need very much water just make sure that it is enough to be able to uh, interpret because that's what we're gonna do so basically you guys already know what water is for right uh, water is always a form of purification it is also uh, for us to be able to scry or be able to look into certain aspects uh, depending on what you're trying to find. Uh, obviously, this is a relationship spell. So we're wanting to see if our relationship is being influenced or if we are being worked against each other. Um, and the honey, obviously, because it is a loving partnership, it is a commitment. Um, so what we're doing is we're using the honey to be able to decipher that. So the water is going to speak onto us the information that we need to know based on the love or the commitment that is already um, it is already uh, unified okay so once we fill up the the container what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some honey if I can open this and what you're gonna need is you're gonna use three tablespoons of honey now before we actually add the honey 
this is very important for you guys to note, okay? Before we get into dropping the honey, what you're going to do is you're going to ask the water, the element of water, to reveal to you. So take about 10, 15 minutes in contemplation and prayer. As an example, I will bless it. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, I bless and consecrate this water. I call upon my spirit guides and ancestors and archangels to please be present and assist in this spell work that we are about to commence. I ask the element of water to reveal to me that which is unhidden, that which remains in the dark. Reveal to me with your light, with your purification, with your power and strength. Show me. So once you do that, what you're going to do is you're going to get your index finger, this finger. You're going to dab it into the water. And what you're going to do is you're going to write your name, your last name, your partner's first name, and their last name. So I will show you. You're going to dab your finger and you're going to write your name as an example. Your last name. And your partner's name. Okay. Once you do that, what we're going to do now is we're going to get three tablespoons of honey. And we're going to add it onto the water that's one two three okay so once you do that, I would suggest for you guys to mix it very well, going in a clockwise position, like always, you guys already know. And take your time, like I said, really take your time. This is a, a very easy and simplistic spell, but as we all know, the very easy and simplistic spells, you will still have people saying, I didn't get results. And the truth of the matter is that the reason why you didn't get results was either because you didn't have focus, you didn't have concentration, and you weren't grounded, period. This is a very, you know, in witchcraft, it doesn't matter how simple or how difficult the spell you're doing is. The rendered result has more to do with the intent and intention that goes into the spell work. So again, take your time when doing this. As you guys can see there, looks very pretty. What we're gonna do now is, once you have mixed the honey, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this underneath your bed for nine days this must remain undisturbed so what i mean by that is do not touch it do not mess with it once you place it underneath your bed you're going to leave it there for nine days so tonight that i'm casting it is the beginning it is the first night of the ritual i'm going to put it underneath the bed and i'm going to leave it undisturbed untouched on the ninth Day, what you're going to do is you're going to take it out you're going to take it to either your altar or wherever you work and you're going to look at the images that are being shown in the water so if you have black lint green eyes or anything that is uh, concerning whether it's skulls, whether it's whatever it is that is dark or macabre, whatever you would consider, um, then that is letting you know, that is showing you that you have or you are being influenced by spell work, by witchcraft. 
moving forward, if you see that, what you're going to do is I would suggest for you to go to my channel, look up cutting of cords, and you're going to do that not just to yourself, but to your partner as well. Now, a lot of my clients are like, well, my partner doesn't really, is not okay with that. That's fine. You can do it while they're sleeping. Okay, so go watch the cutting of cords video. And that's exactly the same thing you're going to do for your partner, except if they're sleeping, you're just going to pass the egg in the bag all around their body while they're sleeping. And then you're going to do a separate one for you. That is to break and remove any type of witchery that has been done on you. Now, if once you pull it out, there is no images or you see that of hearts, for example, an arrow, um, anything that would be a reminder of love, then what they're telling you is what needs to be worked on is communication or the way you express yourself to your partner, okay? Once that is done, after the nine days, let's say you take it out and it looks like the way it looks right now, or it looks more clear because with with as the days progress the honey will uh come together and it'll either create images or it's going to pretty much uh come to one spot and remain there and the rest of the water is going to be clear now if the water is clear and there's no images there you're perfectly fine and what you're going to do is the way you dispose of it is you're just going to flush it down the toilet while you're flushing it you're going to say i remove any negative energy that has been or is currently influencing my relationship or my partnership. I remove it now and you flush it. Now, if you do have images, my advice is again, do the cutting of cords and repeat this spell for another nine days, okay? And if you do that, let's just say that it is extremely dark You've done the cutting of cords and you want to do this again. You're going to do the same steps. You're going to get fill it up with water. You're going to put three teaspoons of honey. You're going to put it or place it under your bed and you're going to leave it there undisturbed for nine days. Once the ninth day is up, you're going to take it out and you should notice the water much more clear. If you do the cutting of cords, it's going to be extremely clear. Um, so then you just dispose of it, flushing it down the toilet and you're good. You guys are no longer, and you'll notice, you'll notice communication open up. You'll notice them become much more sweeter. You'll notice them being more patient, more nurturing towards you and vice versa. You'll notice yourself being much more patient, not being easily triggered. Uh, again, it has everything to do with, unfortunately, outside interference. When we're dealing with a lot of hostility within our relationship, when in the past you guys had work in a good place and all of a sudden there's a lot of misunderstandings arguments stuff like that um take it from a witch i <laughs> i know that uh people will create chaotic energy okay so again do this you will be amazed at the results and you will be blown away what the water is capable of showing and revealing to you I hope that this gives you guys more understanding. I hope that if you do try it out, definitely comment below. Let me know your experience. Let everybody else know. And again, thank you guys for watching. Love you guys. Take care. Till then, talk to you soon. Bye.